destination. We are on a four hour trek from um, the east side of Tennessee to the middle of North Carolina, where we will be for three weeks, and then we head uh, back this way for a conference that I'm going to for Stampin' Up. So, hopefully we get landed quickly, and then I will get this box going. It's actually about 10 days late. I usually get it on the 20th, and instead I sent it to um, my upline Libby's home, and she delivered it to me over the weekend. So, I'm excited to actually get this paper pumpkin done. All right, I am home. We have landed in our three weeks location in North Carolina. Our first break in uh, 13 days. And I picked up Paper Pumpkin. Actually, it was delivered to me by Libby. I shipped it to her house. I am now 11 days late doing it, but it couldn't be helped. So this particular month's Paper Pumpkin is Expressions in Color. We get two spots, Bumblebee and Evening Evergreen. The stamps say, you are amazing, sending hugs, Minnie. Congratulations, thanks. For everything, I believe this is a distinctive for this flower. So it's a two-part stamp if you want a watercolor wash look, a little sprig, a little floral center, and a small flower. We have coordinating DSP, which I do have, and I will get it out and use it with this kit. Oh, we have special colored tissue. It is white this time. Oh, let's look at this first. Usually we look at it last. Nine cards. I think we have some velvet vellum. And let's check it out. see some AB sequins, evening evergreen twine, dimensionals, double-sided adhesive. Oh, we have two sizes of cards. Interesting. I did not notice that. Uh, all of the envelopes are plain. There are nine of them. They are all white. And then we have some alcohol ink small backgrounds. Some labels. It's not velvet vellum. It looks like it's it's a inked. It probably it the closest I can say is it looks somewhat like heat embossed white on vellum. Then we have this color with full color on the back so that can be cut in half. We have some sprig die cuts. them better that way. In green, either magenta madness or polished pink. 
and purple. This looks more like Blackberry Bliss. We have multiple sheets. This is the smaller solid cardstock base that I am sure is trimmed down for this. So I will be uh, making these fit on A2 size. I will convert everything to A2. This looks like evening evergreen um, outlined labels yellow yellow bases and then here are some nice vellum die cuts that again look like white it's white heat embossing but very subtle it doesn't have a, a shiny surface it's just a muted surface and we have thanks in three languages and three of the flowers. Let's see what the coordinating colors all are, are and then I'm gonna go away. I will pull out the expressions in ESP. Maybe grab a few extra pieces. Here's the full kit with the pieces. Coordinating colors, bumblebee, evening evergreen, fresh freesia, and polished pink. So if you haven't seen the new instructions actually show you in detail, step by step, in color, how to do each of the three designs. And along one side, we have inches and centimeters. So I will go away now and start working on the alternatives. I'll come back as I always do and film anything along the way that comes to mind that would be helpful for you as you work through alternatives that you might want to make and stay tuned all right i've done some preparing of materials and thought i would show you how i'm breaking down the kit pieces and then go over uh, the additional pieces that i have done so the first thing is the three pieces. These are supposed to be stacked together. That's why they're an odd shape. Um, I just think they're supposed to be stacked in some fun fashion. And I plan to break them into pieces. The pink one I might leave the way it is. Pretty simple. But definitely the green and purple will be cut. so I can get more out of them. So the purple one is now cut and I already have green pieces cut. To put together. I also took and did the stamp with the two colors on the leftover white pieces and one has been trimmed down and this one not trimmed down yet so that's some good use of extra bits I did notice that there's a difference in the the way the little leaves look this is the crisper side so you can choose whether you want a more muted look or a brighter look. However, I did not see a big difference with the thanks, which can't be flipped over. So you gotta use it the way it's legible. There's three languages though, if you have friends who would know and appreciate German and French. That is what the German looks like. I took the floral big element and I've cut it two different ways. The first way was just cut in half, top and bottom, so I can get double use out of them. And I do not believe there is a 
difference. There might be a slight brighter white. I don't know if you can see that, but I see that this is a slightly brighter um, frosted look. So that's one way to cut the flowers. And the other way was actually trimming the flowers away from each other. And then you can cover, this one looks good when it's cut, and this looks a little awkward, but you could easily just hide it with the sentiment. I also did color on color stamping. I apologize, I had a light on and I didn't even notice it, so now that light's off and you won't see a shadow. So you can stamp around the edges, and then I trimmed one of these green, it's a little bit non-centered. Oh, this is the one I trimmed. So I trimmed one of these down and I do have some heavy duty scissors for roughing up the edges. You can rough up the edges, you can dry emboss. I have, I ran out to the truck and grabbed an embossing, I mean embossing, a sanding block. I've done this a few times now and I thought it might look interesting on brick, so I went ahead and dry embossed with the brick, and now I'm going to show you that with the white pour, you can easily sand off and get down to the white just really, really quickly. This is like probably the biggest bang for the buck that I think you can get with the cardstock supplied with these kits. And any of the dry embossing folders will work. I just tried to pick something that was a little different for me. So that is a nice layer to add. And then I have pulled out The Expressions in Ink DSP. I've saved some of the pieces that are 12 by 12 to do some larger projects. So these are the pieces I have left over. I really like the stripes. The other side is uh, like a terracotta. I can't remember what color that is. And you can use the green, the uh, gold and white stripes. I actually picked this particular pink piece that I'm going to use for a project. And I have some different I'm going to pop that up. I have some this is the evening evergreen twine and I could easily see adding the embossing maybe move this down pop everything up This particular stamp set is Garden Bird Houses. And its sentiments all go very nicely with the shape and size of the different labels provided in the kit. And then I like also the fonts and uh, messaging in Shaded Summer. So if this is not showing enough, you might need to put it on a dark background. So let's just do that. So you can just see how pretty the floral element looks with some layering and perhaps a bow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rough up the edges of this green I also wanted to point out that the green that you get 
with the expressions in ink is like a granny apple green to a mossy meadow versus the little bit more evening evergreen tones. So this is just a nice way to add some different, uh, a different look to projects by using this different pattern. And then I really like before I move on to roughing up edges, I have, I really love this particular paper and I have a little pre-made sentiment and then I will likely add a maybe a thin green border in the evening evergreen with a piece of evening evergreen which I haven't brought any solids out but I will and I will use put it on a white base I think that will look lovely and this is the crinkle ribbon in white so that's all the new stuff I want to show and I just want to rough up the edges of this so you can see how easy it is and how nice it looks don't forget to do the color on color to add interest even if there's just a little edge of it you can still see the the dark and light tones giving some texture without having to use a dry embossing folder, which is another really good way to get some texture. All right, so then there's that one. And then I wanted to rough up the yellow because it has a white base. And you can even rough it up more if you want. Now this is the full five and a quarter, I mean five and a half, four and a quarter, a two size I haven't trimmed it down yet, so I'm probably going to trim it down and redo this. But I just want to demonstrate how easy it is. And this pro this particular kit comes with sequins, and they're very pretty. They're kind of neutral color. Love the AB colored sequins, but you could also add your own sequins, pearls, rhinestones to dress it up even more if you want. And I have made a nice big mess. Okay. So here is an example. This has not been trimmed down yet of what that would look like with just the brick sanded. And this is not trimmed down yet. And I had different ideas. We could even do this. And pop some of those elements up. Add a cute bow. Add some rhinestones. And voila, very cute card made. So I think that was my main um, process tips that I wanted to share. And I'm going to go away now and do a bunch of photography. And if something comes up while I'm doing the photography, oh, I had one more thing. Another idea. Don't forget that on these, you can cut them down into strips. I went ahead and did one of them in thirds, which you can then apply to, I really like this particular design. 
let's see, I, that one's not trimmed down yet, but I will be trimming it down. And you could decide to just use one piece and put, I have the pink and the congratulations and you can pop it up, add some green twine and then I would uh, look at possibly adding some gold which would be really easy to add with the gold and white. And I do have a happy birthday floating around here somewhere. Actually, it says birthday wishes. Oh, and then there's the you are amazing. Here we go. So this is the really pretty font that comes with the kit. I wanted to point that out and I think that this could easily be, you could take this main piece and chop it and do wainscot, all sorts of different things to stretch these cards. So this is another kit that I believe has a lot of ways it can be extended to get more out of it and use up every single little bit that it comes with. And I think it has materials to make nine cards. The envelopes, you only get six of the A2 size. Everything I'm going to do will be uh, made into A2 size. So you'll have to, uh, in addition to the bases, because I will cut every one of these in half to get double the cards. And remember that the small green, the front and the back are dark green. So you, you double the nine cards makes 18 so I think you could get 25 to 30 cards out of this if you were really careful with how you cut the pieces and you could instead of making more cards you could make less cards and make them more fancy with a lot more layers or you can use less layers and extend to get even more cards that's the nice thing about these kits you get to choose how you want to use them so that's it for me. I Like I said, I might come back if anything interesting pops up. Like uh, right now I'm just playing and I really like this look because this particular Expressions in Ink has um, some white through some of the pieces and then you get this extra gold. So I really highly recommend this DSP if you haven't seen it already and have not decided which DSPs you're going to get, it would be really nice to use with this kit. I highly recommend it. All right. So, as I said, very extensible kit. Really like it. I always love, of course, um, anything florally. Love sprigs. I think that this um, alcohol ink technique is really fun and different. After you watch the showcase, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share. You can leave any questions, comments, or suggestions on this video over on my blog, where I will have the extra supplies that I have used. And I do want to say that they have been pushing for the refill kits. Once you are a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, you get access to a special category of Paper Pumpkin refill supplies. And most months there are some extra kits, refill kits available to extend the kits even further. Thanks for watching.